My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to talk about sod. Specifically, uh, do the rolls work better? Or over here, we've got the palletized sod, which is a better application. I'm a landscape contractor, so I've installed a lot of sod over the years. And uh, this job, we tried out the rolls for the first time. We'll kind of talk to you about my experience in that and what I think works best. Um, you know, labor hours, production rates, all those different types of things. Uh, different things with the heat and the weather so stay tuned and we'll talk more about sod Here's the big sod rolls we laid out. Uh, this was day one. A little bit of background on this. It's been really rainy for the last two weeks. Barely had enough time to get in here and get this graded out to put the sod in. Um, so when the sod was cut, the fill had just dried out enough to cut it. So this sod came to us very uh, moist, very wet, and uh, was laid down. We received it at 4 p.m. on a Friday, installed um, this first couple rows. Um, on that Friday night until about 8 p.m. And then the remainder of this was installed um, the following Saturday. Um, this was probably Saturday by one or two over to this side. And you can see here we've got some rows uh, in the middle here. So this, the rolls come in uh, two rolls combined. So this was two, row, two rolls on a big roll and um, they heat up in the center. So we also did the rolls over here to finish out that day and you can see as we got further down the day um, started having more uh, heat issues and these uh, rolls started going moldy um, as sod does if it's sitting on a pallet too long but these are um, having a little bit of a struggle uh, rooting in we do have some roots here coming out but if you look on the green side uh, quite a drastic difference so uh, this also has that nylon netting but this is my first time doing the big sod rolls so a couple of lessons learned obviously it goes bad quicker because it doesn't have as much oxygen getting in there and um yeah just the the series of circumstances kind of led to this happening hopefully this will all kind of grow in it'll all be okay and then this was our second day of sod laying uh, we did this um four days later or so this was late again the same night it was delivered this load was delivered um, around 2.30 and then stalled to about over to here that first night. So you can see a little bit greener, a little bit better condition. And the next day we started at 7 a.m., started here and started going across. Uh, overall, you know, second day on this hand laid sod versus these big rolls, uh, quite a drastic difference, a lot better uh, condition overall. And this was uh, what was laid at the end of the day here. So this is the last section and you can see it's it's looking the most dry um, especially this section um, part of that was because this was laid from the house this way and this section was actually laid from here over so if we switch sides it'll probably look the opposite so now this looks drier and this looks more green so it's kind of just a optical illusion on that So my consensus after putting in both, you know, last 15 years I've done tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of square feet of sod. And, um, you know, this is the first time even trying out the big rolls. Each time I load's about 10,000 square feet. Um, and that kind of depends, you know, you know, everyone asks kind of what, what's the weight on those rolls or how much do they weigh and how much does a truckload weigh or how much can you fit? Well, it's all based on capacity and it depends on the moisture content in the sod when it's cut. Um, but yeah, you know, thousands and thousands of square feet of sod installed by hand like this. We've got the little squares versus the rolls. First time doing the rolls. Uh, what are my kind of overall thoughts? Um, unfortunately the rolls did not go as planned. They, they were supposed to make this job a lot easier. This is about 30,000 square feet of sod here. And it was really supposed to help make that 
a lighter load and it I don't know if it was just too technical of a job you know as we're laying into the woods here that last row is really hard to do we're also limited on space here um, with the tree line um, but I think beyond that it was just uh, it was a lot less lifting work a lot less work on your lower back as far as lifting it off the pallet and putting it in place but other than that it didn't save much it was probably twice as much hand work on the ground um, so probably in the future probably will not do so you know the big rolls again I think if you had a specialty piece of equipment um, where you could do that, I think that, that might make sense. Uh, using a skid steer and a skid steer attachment didn't really um, work out as well as we planned. Um, you know, obviously these areas, we still got some dry spots. We still have to, you know, take care of it and water it and do all those things. But um, it, it does last slightly longer. Um, you know, our supplier says, you know, it, it'll last two, three, four days you know in the right conditions and it, you know in my experience we always try to get down the same day or the very next day at the latest and uh, you know with the big rolls that's not really a good rule of thumb to follow really I you know I think it expires after the first 24 hours whereas you know a, a professional contractor would try to get down within the first 24 hours the the palletized sod you could probably go 48 hours as a professional and still have a pretty good end product obviously with sod it's uh it's something that expires very quickly and you just have to be very mindful there you know there's a, a million different circumstances weather you know right now we're dealing with high humidity high heat uh, really hot high heat and X so I mean that takes out stuff out of the guys but it also takes takes a uh, you know toll on the sod this side we're getting pretty good moisture in all these now we're just maxed out on the what the house can produce we're running these sprinklers from um, 4 a.m. until 10 p.m. right now just all the way around the clock uh, running each zone three times a day I uh, just trying to keep this moisture up in here so yeah you can see here uh, we've got this last little section of sod delay I get another truckload um, do another you know 10,000 square feet or so and uh, get this all finished out wrapped up but uh, we're supposed to do this next Wednesday so we've got another five day layover between these which will be a good thing because you know we had four or five days for this section this section's pretty well watered in now if we had to cut water on it could probably go 24 48 hours at the most without water whereas these new sections they can't go more than six hours without water so once we get all of this kind of uh you know establishment watered in we could probably lean these off a little bit and put that water pressure over here and water this section the way it needs to be done but yeah this has been a big project lots of learning on it learning uh, you know do we do pallets do we do rolls and I think in the future we'll probably do pallets uh, you know I think it was actually less work and we were able to do more per day I guess what we're talking about that um, we had four guys we had two two man the night of um, laying that section and then we had four guys laying all this and around there and we got uh, you know it was a good long full day with four of us and we didn't even get all of the, the 10,000 square feet laid. And then the next set saw delivery, we had a two man, you know, night before, night of, and then we had a five man crew lay the rest and we were done laying sod by one, two, maybe three in the afternoon. So, you know, we had one extra guy, but we laid the full 10,000 square feet. And um, so I think it actually takes less time as well. You know, as you're you know, looking at labor costs, I, I, I don't think it's really saving you on on your uh, exertion level. And I don't think it's saving on your man hour rate either. But, you know, I'm sure there's some guys out there that are specialized in that and, and it works great for them, for us. And my experience and what we've done in the past and what we're going to do moving forward, I think that pallets is the way to go.
Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Hopefully it was useful and informative. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. We'll definitely have more content ahead. Uh, you know, we laid this sod, and in future videos, we'll be laying this sod over here. So definitely be sure and check out the channel, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.